you know, when my parents finally get around to watching this movie at some point in the next year or two, they're probably going to ask me first and foremost, where's James Franco? <laughs> Hello, humans. Welcome to Mothman Jones Movie Reviews. I'm your host, John Maffio. Today's featured movie is The Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, directed by Matt Reeves, who directed Cloverfield. It stars Jason Clarke, Gary Oldman, and Andy Serkis, who plays the one and only Caesar, the mocap legend actor. The story for this film takes place about a decade after the events that took place in the Rise film with James Franco, and um, the world's been wiped out by a flu, and there's a little group of humans left in San Francisco, and the apes who were led by Caesar live alongside across the Golden Gate Bridge somewhere in the woods. There's been absolutely no contact between humans and apes for about this decade, until one little moment when one pesky little asshole of a guy runs into two apes, and that's when things go down. Now, I am a fan of Rise of the Planet of the Apes. I don't love it like a lot of other people do. I was surprised by it. I thought it was supposed to suck. And then I saw it and I was like, wow, that was a really good movie. But I think it's a little overrated. It's still a good movie though. But I was going into this with expectations because it got such great critical reviews. People are loving it. And I'm seeing it a little bit late. It's Sunday when I'm posting this review. And um, I have to say, um, this movie for the most part was good. And then it got to a point where I almost loved it, but I didn't quite love it. But Dawn of the Planet of the Apes is a really, really good blockbuster movie that had my emotions captivated and invested. I really enjoyed the story of this film from both the Homo sapiens side and the ape side. Um, the more interesting characters are on the ape side, but the humans didn't do a bad job either. Jason Clark leads the pack in acting-wise in this movie. And he basically, you know, he encounters the apes and he begins to develop a friendship with Caesar. And he did good for what he had, the actor. Everybody else did really good. Gary Oldman was great in his role, despite how little of screen time he had. Um, but really, all the spotlight goes with the mocap actors, especially Andy Serkis, who plays Caesar and the apes. Andy Serkis is amazing. Every time he's on screen, you feel that presence being felt, and it's so intense. Like, every time he's speaking dialogue, every time he's on screen, your attention is a 100% to the screen. You really feel that commanding, um, intimidating presence every time he's on screen. It's amazing. The performances were captivating, the story was really interesting for the most part, but it does have its fair share of moments that face adversity because... Some cliché things happen in the movie, some things are predictable, and I did see a few um, events that were going to transpiring that actually did transpire in my head. And it didn't take away from the movie, it still satisfied me. A lot of these moments that, did, that I did see coming still made me go, hell yeah. But it does, you know, diminish the movie a bit when you could tell what's going to happen next. All that matters though is that the story did captivate me from beginning to end, and it did build up to the great action sequences towards the end of the movie, and I got so invested that I really wanted to applaud so bad at a few parts of this movie because they were so satisfying. And by the end of it, I felt hungry for the next movie, but I was also satisfied by the conclusion of what happened with the characters this time around. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes is aesthetically beautiful. It's a well-composed film. It's got really good music by Michael Giacchino. It's got really good directing by Matthew Reeves. And um, the mocap for these apes is at some points too damn scary in a realistic manner where I really was like this looks way too real for me to perceive with my brain and it's freaking me out a little bit. So much credit to the artists who created these characters with the mocap because there are really there are some moments where you see close-ups on these apes faces and it looks like a real person in makeup. If I had to have another criticism or complaint about the movie, the only thing that I, that springs to mind would be that some of the emotional moments didn't quite click for me. Like, there are times where I really did resonate with what was going on, but there are other moments where you, where the movie was trying to tell you, feel emotion right now, and I was just like, I'm trying, but I, I can't. But other than that, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes is a really, really, really good blockbuster. It's, it's got moments 
that are spectacular, moments that are emotional, full of drama. The film also has social implications on war and race and how it is um, affecting our world. At, at points, it's a little obvious, but it's nice to know that they're putting political implications in there at all. I don't know, I appreciate that kind of thing. I would say that it's mafidociously darn good. It's recommended. If you need a movie to see this weekend at the theater, go see this one. You won't be disappointed. Turning the tables to you guys. Have you seen Dawn of the Planet of the Apes? Let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel, Mothman Jones, so you'll never, ever, ever miss a review from me or a video ever again. Also check out Facebook, Twitter, and We Live Film in the info box. I'm John Mafio, aka Mothman Jones. And I'll see you guys next time. Ape Straw!